It's not about the amount of LDL, it's about the size of LDL. The idea here being that if you have large fluffy LDL, it doesn't matter if your total LDL is high. Perhaps you've heard this idea before. It turns out this is not so accurate. Let me clear this up. At one point in time, this might have been a view that was held within the cardiology field. It's a view I actually held myself. But as science progresses, we have to update our views. We now know that all LDL particles are equally able to cause atherosclerosis, aka fatty plaque in the artery wall, whether they are large and fluffy or small and dense LDL particles. This is because, while the smaller dense LDL particles are more easily retained in the artery wall, less cholesterol is deposited per particle. Whereas, the larger fluffier LDL particles, while less easily retained in the artery wall, deposit more cholesterol per particle. And it's that last part that people are overlooking. Yes, large fluffy LDL particles are less likely to get stuck in the artery wall, but each time they do, compared to a small particle, they deposit a lot more cholesterol. It doesn't matter if your LDL particles are small and dense or large and fluffy. What matters is the total number of LDL particles, and more specifically, the total number of ApoB containing lipoproteins. That's what people need to focus on. Yet, there is a section of the online community that is set on distorting this, because diets rich in animal fats cause levels of both LDL and ApoB to go up. If you want to learn about optimizing these to lower your risk of cardiovascular disease, Listen to my podcast as this is a topic I regularly discuss with my guests. You can find links to this in my bio.